Y'all, I got a couple things I want to say. And I'm going to go ahead and play the beat because I think this needs a beat. And I'm going to say this first before I go on to the subject. Let me take a sip real quick. Y'all, I love NFTs. I ain't going to lie. Already starting to make NFTs. I'm putting them up on OpenSea and everything, man. You know, I'm starting to wonder. Like, I don't even know if I'm really part of the, the damage in the environment, though. You know, those those CO2 emissions, maybe they're going to happen anyway with NFTs or not. You feel me? You know? I don't really know, though. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just putting the NFTs because I'm trying to get in the game. Metaverse style. You feel me? Like, if you got glasses, I got glasses. They probably cost $5 a piece, but I want a piece of all that. So can I make my stuff? Can y'all not kill me for liking NFTs? Please. Please. Thank you. I appreciate that. I had to get that off my chest, okay? So anyways, Facebook Horizon Worlds. Oh, my goodness. Facebook Horizon Worlds is here. How do I start? How do I start? I don't even know where to start. First of all, we remember way back when Facebook changed their name to Meta. World went crazy because everybody talked about it was in preparation for a metaverse. And a metaverse, I am here to say, is going to be a real thing. And I'm going to tell you why it will be a real thing. Think of the possibilities of the metaverse and the extension of it. We have not touched the tip of the iceberg. So everything I'm about to go over with Facebook Horizon Worlds, we'll look at it. Everything I'm about to go over is, is a tip of what we're going to be seeing. Imagine being in a world where someone who is handicapped, who can't walk, who can be able to be in a world where they can run a marathon. Possibilities endless. Someone can be shy. I don't like to be in front of people, but now they can get up and be who they want to be and do stand-up comedy. And they can be one of the funniest comics around. Okay? It's the possibilities are endless inside a metaverse. People want to get away. The more and more people find devices to get away from the realities of life, it's going to happen. Television is the first one. And if anybody does not believe me with the television, you can say, oh, whatever. If you don't believe me, just count how many hours you yourself watch television or something on your phone. You, I guarantee, do not read as many books as they did before television came along. They probably look at us like we're brainwashed on a television where we look at them as television can provide education. It can provide fast education within, you know, I can get 30 minutes, a lot of education versus reading something in a book for that 30 minutes. There's different ways people take in information differently. Some people benefit from a TV versus a book. If you know that, you know that. But I will say this metaverse is the next thing, man. It's not a joke. It's not a play. It is for real. And I know these first worlds, we've seen Decentraland. That looked like it got pulled straight out of a, a, a GameCube library, to be honest. I ain't say GameCube bad, but just saying, you know, graphic. I'm going to go even further back. I'm lying. PlayStation 1. Okay, PlayStation 1. Okay. But Decentraland had different items. Each one of these items are NFT. Imagine having an item worth $300 that you actually only pay $12 for that you can resell in this world. So you think of the values. This is the problem, okay? And this is why when we talk about Facebook Horizon Worlds, I want to let you guys know this. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, we can say benefits. Yes, artists, hello, hallelujah. If you're an artist, a digital artist, this is finally the time where you're going to be able to get your contributions that you never got before for all your digital artwork. When you made something, put it online, and people drop that shit all over the place, guess what happened? Guess what happened? You didn't get credit for it, but now this is a way they're trying to give you credit for it. Now, that would be only in the digital world, only inside the metaverse. Yes, outside the metaverse, you can't use that picture if you bought it, okay? You can't put it up on your webpage. You can't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's only to use inside this digital metaverse, okay? So, Facebook decides to jump 
in front of everything for Meta. They named themselves Meta. And now Facebook Horizon Worlds is here. I love it. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm a Facebook fan. With the success, the success of Oculus, right? I mean, how could you deny Facebook anything? Oculus success, the website success. They, I ain't gonna lie. Facebook's killing it. They've been killing it recently. I don't know if guys got stock in Facebook. I don't. Okay, I don't. I got stock in a lot of different companies, but Facebook's not one of them. So I want to go ahead and pull it up, and we're going to talk about it. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Let me pull it up here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. See, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I got to work this out, though. I traveled to Facebook's soulless but popular metaverse, so you don't have to. My man, Zach Zwiezen. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, Zach. Because you went there, so we ain't got to. I agree. I like when people go somewhere, so I ain't got to. Like, I remember uh, I remember somebody coming to me, and they was like, hey, guess what, man? I went to this place called Voodoo Village. Now, people don't just walk with me here. I went to this place called Voodoo Village. And I was like, you went to Voodoo Village? I was like, man, I heard stuff about that, but you know I don't believe that. They was like, yo, we rolled over the train tracks. As soon as we hit the train tracks, our car cut off. And it took like 10 seconds for it to start back up. So we turned around and left. I was like, okay, that's Voodoo Village. I'm not going. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I need to know. I trust the person that told me. There's no reason I need to go to Voodoo Village. So I've never been. You people can look that up. It's in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, not in Memphis, Tennessee. I believe it's far like down the street from Memphis, Tennessee or something. I don't know. But Voodoo Village. Look it up. Anyways. The metaverse is supposed to be the future. So it's got the world buzzing with excitement. Hilariously, though, the prominence of the futuristic buzzword has caused old footage of digital worlds to explode on social media, largely driven by the fact that nobody really understands what the hell the metaverse actually is. And because the average person doesn't know what the metaverse is, footage of shabby, lifeless digital universes that look worse than Roblox can pass off as unreleased cutting-edge tech. In late January, for example, a re-upload re of a 2019 Facebook meta trailer went viral on Twitter, showcasing an awkward social virtual reality app called Horizon Worlds. Everyone thought it was a new announcement for Facebook, except it wasn't. Somehow, this metaverse fakeout has happened more than once within the last year. So, I want to let y'all know what that means. That means all these people that were killing the metaverse, talking about how crappy it is. We're actually looking at things that were from 2019. They were years old. They weren't even the real deal. They could have been an alpha, uh, uh, who knows, but they, they were killing it. Okay. But going back to the viral ad, it tried to paint horizon as this open and free place where folks could happily do anything and everything while surrounded by friends all over the world. All right, so happily doing anything and everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The happy-go-lucky vibe was out of the good place and tweet noted, except, of course, the TV show has a nefarious twist that makes the whole thing even weirder. The footage felt very artificial and ended up making a lot of people online kind of uncomfortable. Everyone depicted in the ad was a floating torso of endless smiles and sexless and toothless. So, I mean, women, man, doesn't matter. They were just okay. Now, it is a lot. I'm not going to be reading through all this, okay? Because, you know, it's a lot. But I'm mainly just covering it, okay? Because I'm looking here. I've seen all that. We ain't about to do all that. But when I first arrived, there we go. Talk to me. When I first arrived, I saw a few groups of people hanging out in different parts of the area. I ran over to the closest group, which also contained a Facebook community guide. These are users who help coordinate events within the app and introduce new players to Horizon while helping out with tech issues, too. Now, I want to say, first, that's dope, Facebook. That's that's pretty damn dope. And I want to tell you why that is. Because if you guys went to a theme park, okay, specifically, uh, let's go to Disneyland. Okay, Disney World, one of them. The one with Magic Kingdom, right? Uh, went to Magic Kingdom, and guess what they have? They have this genie pass, which works on the app, but they have specific people wearing these certain coats, which, by the way, they wear long blue trench coats in the hot. Uh, anyways, uh, but uh, you go and talk to them, and they help you out with tech issues. It might be something that's not working on your app. You signed up for this ride. Things are not working. They're there to help you, okay? Only you, only the people who have signed up for this app. 
I like how Facebook does that, where they have people specifically there, not sure if they're paying them or not, but they have them there to be able to say, hey, how you doing? You know, and then they come over and, you know, they help you out and all that stuff. So that's nice. So anyways, the app uses proximity chat. So as I got closer, I could overhear their conversation. It was odd. So that was how I fell. It was hard. He broke a leg and he was in a coma for a few weeks, said one person. Oh, my God said the community uh, community guide's reaction to the story. Yeah, he woke up finally. It's a miracle he's even here playing with us. The storyteller concluded his tale before apparently the subject of his story responded, I could have died, man. Okay, so it's just a whole, you know, regardless. I barged into their group and remained quiet until the guide waved to me and asked how I was doing. Okay, so that's, that's cool. So nonetheless, what they're saying is like, you have proximity chat. So the closer you're getting to groups, the more you're hearing them. That's similar to VR chat. If anyone's played VR chat, uh, which has already you know been a big thing, visually it's great too. But you can walk up to people, you can you know tell jokes, you can be at same thing like I mentioned. You could be stand up doing things like that. VR chat has been around for a while, but that's similar to VR chat with the proximity. I spent time running around various pockets of people in this hub. One person asked me if I knew how to build anything using this game's creation tools. I explained, I just started playing this shit, man. And thanks to the power of VR, I watched them physically react with sadness. Damn. So with VR, you can, got it right there. Okay, you can play this and this is VR. That's pretty nice to be able to play this in VR and kind of get a feel. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we, we understand. But... Another group had people talking about ghosts. I don't care about that. After some folks left, I headed back to the community guide. She was very nice and had just helped fix someone's issue with their headsets audio. I asked a few general questions like, why the hangout area was still adorned in Christmas decorations? She laughed. Okay, I ain't going to keep going. But it seems clear that Facebook has community guides watching over players in Horizon Worlds, which might explain why the general vibe was mostly chill. Look at that. I only heard a few players swear or make nasty jokes, and nobody said any slurs. <laughs> Facebook might be on to something, y'all. Hey, y'all, everybody's talking about the metaverse. Facebook's got a place so far. We're pretty chill. At one point, a player who I had been talking to on and off an hour I spent in the hub asked me to come play a zombie game. Okay, that's dope. My hey, what's up, cuz? Hey, cuz, we can play a little game, cuz. All right. You know, you do a little wave, y'all wave back, and next thing you know, y'all in zombie guy. Okay. But it said, I joined him via a simple hand gesture, and we played what might be one of the worst zombie shooters I think. Yo, I'm not going to lie, though, man. Just the fact y'all meeting in the world and y'all do a hand gesture, that would be nice if you could have, like, PlayStation. Y'all need to jump in your VR. Maybe y'all could have a world where you two guys look at each other, and maybe y'all do a logo like, hey, y'all do this, and then... Call of Duty cuts on and y'all already in the party or something, you know, something like that. But regardless, I'm going to pull me back up because we've had enough. I, I you know, y'all got the gist of, of everything with that. This dude said pretty much it's dope. Before I left, started asking folks why they were here. Some admitted that they haven't had any games to play, so this is a free option. Others had met some folks here that they liked and used it as a way to chill with them. When I mentioned VR chat, another VR social app with higher quality graphics, legs, and a recognition that sex is real. Some seemed to be unaware it existed. Others had tried it out or looked it up online and were not into how wild it seemed. Okay, so people, people thought that was a little too far out there, and they figured this was a more chill, relaxed way. So I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. Is this metaverse going to really pop off now? Are, is, are we jumping into it too fast? So let's cover a few things in the metaverse, just so you guys know, NFTs. Everything inside the metaverse is an NFT. Just think of that. So which means everything from land to houses to grass plots to, you know, glasses to accessories to coats. They're all NFTs that can be bought and sold. Just think of that. Where you have this whole entire world where, you know, it was a problem to be a, a, a default in Fortnite. Everybody remembers that, where you're the you're the default in Fortnite. It's terrible. People hate it looking at you. They shot you. Oh, he's a default. Imagine being a default in the metaverse. That's how bad it's going to be, where it's almost going to force you to have to buy some type of clothing or something. So I don't know how it goes. Um, we do know that Bitcoin, and I think it's, it's another one. 
but they're tanking. Is it a, is it Dogecoin or Dogecoin? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They're tanking. Okay, they're losing a lot of money. Uh, me, myself, I have money in Bitcoin. It's kind of scary, but hey, nonetheless, just transfer your revenue, move it around. There's other uh, cryptocurrencies, but I think it's transitioning. OK, the reason being is because currently the system that it runs on, especially if you're using NFTs, I mean, the blockchain is serious. And I don't think people know all these GPUs that we can't find, that we can't buy, are being used somewhere to to just run the blockchain, to be honest. And just think of all the emissions over time, the CO2 emissions to run this. Now, I can't say NFTs is the main reason for that. I can't say that. I can't even say NFTs is even any part of it because it's who's to say if there was no NFTs, the same CO2 emissions would not be emitted. I don't know that. OK, but I do know there have been tests to judge the emissions that come out and they're based on, I think, like per megawatt of energy and the pollution is real. It's not a joke. Some of these transactions I've heard have used more power than an entire country. It is that bad for these transactions, just for single transactions. But all these things must run in order for the blockchain to be successful. Guess what? Blockchain feels a lot more secure. Everybody has records of everything. Nobody's out of the loop. Okay? So there's certain things to it, but I'm not going to continue to talk your ear off. Uh, Facebook Horizon Worlds, I suggest if you have an Oculus Quest, you go ahead and try it out. Give it a shot. Go through there. Let me know how it is. Uh, hell, I might jump up in here. You know what I mean?